Nam the canal, Nigeria can't have peace holding people hostage, says Bianca Ojuku. Yes, now, Nigeria can have peace holding people hostage. That's the truth. They are holding uh, Nam the canal hostage. They are holding Sunday Boho hostage. Even though Sunday Boho is in Benin Republic, uh, he cannot come back to Nigeria at this time. They don't want to let him in. All right? So let's see what she has to say more. Mrs. Ojuku noted that doing so will help resort to peace, especially in the Southeast uh, geopolitical zone, adding that no nation that holds its people hostage can ever have peace. Bianca Ojuku, wife of late Biafra leader Chukwemeka Odumegu Ojuku, has reiterated call for the release of Nam Dekano, the leader of the outlawed separatist group indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, being held by the Muhammadu Buhari regime. Mrs. Ojuku noted that doing so would help resort to peace, especially in the Southeast geopolitical zone, adding that no nation that holds his people hostage can ever have peace. The former Nigerian ambassador to Spain renewed the call on Saturday in Oweri at the 11th edition of DIM Chukwemeka Odumegu Ojuku Memorial Lectures. The memorial event was organized by the Movement for the Sovereign State of Biafra and Independence Biafra Movement, Masob BIM. Mr. Kano has been under detention since he was extraordinarily renditioned from Kenya in June 2021 by the federal government, though the Court of Appeal in October quashed charges preferred against Mr. Kano, the Buhari regime refused to release him and successfully got the court to nullify his freedom. His arrest coincided with heightened insecurity in the Southeast with IPOB apologists enforcing a weekly Monday sit at home across the region which paralyzes business activities. Unknown government have also continued to launch fatal onslaught against politicians, public officials, and state establishments, killing people and raising public facilities. Mrs. Ojuku, however, advised Nigerian youth to shun vices and other antisocial conduct now threatening the peace and development of the country. She said that the current wave of criminalities, killings, kidnappings, and other kinds, other types of the, of the country was on a worrisome path to destruction. Though she attributed the problem to lack of job opportunities, Mrs. Ojuku said it was wrong for today's youth to resort to the use of hard drugs leading to crime. She, however, advised them not to collapse the system but to keep hope alive and seize the opportunity of the 2023 elections to vote the right people for good governance in the nation. She argued that if the right leaders were entrusted to be in charge, several opportunities would be created for the majority of the people to be gainfully employed, thereby reducing crime. The ex-Nigeria most beautiful girl commended the Igbo people for keeping faith with the tenets of nationhood for which his late husband fought for. She thanked the convener of the event, Chief Raf Owazuriki, for organizing the memorial ceremony since the year 2012 to date. Earlier in an address, chairman of the occasion and former Green Eagles coach, Fanny Amun, thanked Owazuriki for seeking peaceful agitation by the Igbo people. He called for continued peace and national cohesion, adding that in due course, the yearnings and aspirations of Nigerians will be met. Igbo people from the five states of Abia, Enugu, Ebony, Anambra, and Imo attended the event and displayed various types of masquerades and other cultural dances. This is a good one. All right, this is a good one. So with this memorial lecture held on behalf of Ojuku, um, it's been, uh, all right, so it's used as an opportunity to call on federal government to release Nam de Kano as fast as possible for justice to prevail for the purpose of justice, right? And she said that there's no country that um, holds her citizens hostage that will ever see or no peace.
All right, that is the truth. They can't have peace. Uh, right now, um, federal government is pretending to have peace, but with Ojuku, I mean, uh, with uh, Kano, uh, Nam the Kano, there they don't have peace because the international community is calling, the local individuals are calling, organizations are calling, human rights organizations all over the world are calling, so they don't have peace, and they are sure. The only reason they don't want to release him, especially himself and Igbo, is because of the election. I am pretty sure. They want to hold them until after election, then they will release them. Because if they release them now, they think that they will reorganize their people again and they will disrupt the election. I am part of that. I think I am pretty sure of that. Secondly, um, the Fulanis hit the Igbos to their bones. And if they have any opportunity to annihilate any Igbo man, they will do it. That is the gospel truth. Because they were quick to prescribing the IPOB, but they failed to prescribe Boko Haram and Eswap in the north. So what do you say to that? Right? Has IPOB done half of what Boko Haram and Eswap have done in Nigeria? No. No. So, so right now, even when the judiciary has independently freed Nam De Kano, because there is no case against him. It was a case of federal government abducting her own citizen and locking, the, locking him up. All right? But then, what did the government do? Under uh, Abu Bakr Malami, the, 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 what did they call it? The Minister for Justice, Attorney General Minister for Justice, all right? Had to appeal and cancel that judgment in order to still keep Nam De Kano in custody of the DSS. Right, right now the case is, is not going anywhere. They just kept him there indefinitely. Now there's no announced date for court hearing. But what I'm seeing here, I think uh, the people are now beginning to uh, get 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 international body involved. All right, why uh, Chief uh, Zakume, the son that handling the case, is heading to appeal court again to get the to get another judgment. So they use this lecture, memorial lecture on behalf of Ujuku, I used it to admonish the government to let um, to stop holding our people hostage because there's no nation that holds our people hostage will ever, that will ever have peace. It will never have peace. Right? So let's see. I've got some comments here. Uh, let's see what they have to tell us. Tell them our beloved wife, Oji, Oji and Oji, Ongweya, Oji and Jongweya, yes. So anybody holding ground is also holding himself. He who is holding the ground is holding himself. Just our adage. Eh? So, Mazenam de Kano is the ground and no one can lift up Olympus. Right? So the center can never see hold and there shall be no peace in the land until Nam de Kano is released. <laughs> now, wow, this man just came with all the Igbo parables. Alright? I like to be fair and just, but where are you all right, when he was advocating for violence against the state, and you think those officers that lost their lives due to his advocate advocating doesn't have families that need justice, please stop this your one way thinking. Can you imagine? So, what about the Boko Haram that has killed Nigerian army? Those Nigerian soldiers that were on their way to Shambisha Forest and they were ambushed several times by the by the Boko Haram because the Boko Haram members of the military released the security intelligence information to their team members on the outside world. All right, so what would you have to say to that? All the people now that Boko Haram have killed in Nigeria, how much justice have you have you meted out? All right, what you did was to get the Boko Haram people, they say they, they, they down their arms, they have repented, and then the next you did was to reintegrate them into the military. Is that the kind of justice? All right. So what about the families in churches, in mosques, and in business places that these Boko Haram people have committed um, suicide bombing and killed families together? What about the families of the Chibok girls and the Dapchi girls that were abducted and married off by terrorists? What justice have you, have you provided for the family of those children? My friend, keep quiet here. Don't like what I'm saying. All right. So, 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 what is good for the goose is also good for the ganders. So, if you know how to forgive Boko Haram, you should also know how to forgive IPOB and uh, and Masob. That is how it goes. You should know how to forgive Biafrans. You don't do it one sided. 
But this government, everything in this government has always been lopsided and one-sided. So thank you, and this is what Mrs. Sojuku is saying. They have to release them, they can't know, because if the judiciary have done their job, then the government has no option but to obey the law. Unfortunately, this government does not obey rule of law, and that is why the country is in this kind of mess. So thank you for listening, and let's have your comment below.